Some folks continue to confuse dimensioning with tolerancing. They read the first section of the Y145 standard, which is on dimensioning, and ignore the later section, which shows how to tolerance the parts. Hopefully, this tip will clear things up for some of these folks. On our premium site video, I have included a case study that shows a part that was made when the drawing did not make use of geometric tolerancing. This is a drawing that is very similar to one that you will find in the first section of the Y14-5 standard. That section is on scope and definitions and general dimensioning, not tolerancing. A lot of people look at this and think, oh, I could just apply a general plus-minus tolerance or apply plus-minus tolerance to these dimensions. And they would be wrong. You could have a plus-minus tolerance on the width of this slot because that's a size dimension and on the size of this hole or these eight holes and that would be fine but it's totally wrong to apply a plus minus tolerance to the 33 or 56 or to these angles which are used to locate these holes if you do you could end up with a part that looks something like this and you would have no recourse the supplier would be on solid ground because the drawing doesn't say how much you can deviate from the goals dimensions state the goal. It's sort of like the bullseye of a target. And then the tolerance is how much you can miss that bullseye by. That's like the size of the target around the bullseye. You have to, as you find later on in the standard, make the dimensions that locate features basic. So you notice I have an untoleranced dimensions or basic note down here. So the 16 and the 6 are not basic because they have tolerances written next to them, as does the 10 but the rest of these dimensions are basic and then I have to apply feature control frames to control how much the part can deviate from these basic dimensions now the part you get will look a lot more like what you were intending to receive this tip shows once again the GD&T rules I'll see you next tip